And today we're getting a view from the U.S. Capitol, joined now by Congresswoman Elizabeth Esty and Monty Frank. He's a Newtown dad and an attorney, and he'll be one of 26 cyclists starting off tomorrow on a 400-mile trip to D.C. It is the second annual Sandy Hook Ride on Washington to raise awareness about gun violence and to express the will for gun reform. Thanks to both of you for being here. And Monty, tell me what's different about this year's ride. Obviously, last year was three very short months after the tragedy in Newtown. What's different about this year's ride? Well, I, I think after a year, we've seen that the Connecticut effect has not faded away. And thanks to Representative Esty for her hard work speaking on the floor of the House about us, um, and other groups will continue to fight along, and we're going to keep going until this movement reaches its conclusion, which is some real strong gun violence uh, prevention laws that will make a difference and save lives. And you have some special riders going along with you this year. We do. Um, we have two riders from the Virginia Tech Victims Family Cycling Team, uh, Tommy Fadul and Omar Samaha. Omar lost her sister, lost his sister, um, back in 2007 uh, in Virginia Tech. And so once uh, you all arrive in D.C., which will be on Tuesday, is that right? Tuesday, 1 o'clock, the West Lawn of the Capitol. And uh, the activities will continue once, once you get there. Tell us about that. Well, we're going to have a big press conference, and then we're going to be carrying forward throughout the course of the week. We've got meetings with other members of Congress to reinforce the importance of listening to the will of the American people. It, it, and we, we talk a lot about the will, the public will. I mean, is there a political will to, to take action? Well, there ought to be. There ought to be, and, and I think with the leadership of Newtown families, and really what's changed, I think, since last year, is it's not just the Connecticut effect of the Newtown families who have been so courageous and responded to this horror with compassion, with love, with, with peace, hope, and love, as is written on the jackets here, but they have been joined by inner city uh, ministers, by families from across America who have been injured, had their loved ones taken from them. And so there really is unity in a, in a way that has not happened before, from the inner city violence to the horror of what happened in Aurora and in Newtown, and the faith community, and moms and dads and grandparents and brothers and sisters saying, enough is enough, we have to change. And uh, local leaders are getting involved there. They're heading to D.C., and I know there's a special event next week. Absolutely. We've got mayors against illegal guns. We'll be meeting with our task force from the House Gun Violence Violence Prevention Task Force, bringing in other members of Congress, continuing to keep the pressure on them to listen to the people they represent, listen to the American people, make these changes. And people who want to follow around uh, along with you on your 400-mile trek, what do they do? They can find us on Facebook at uh, Sandy Hook Ride on Washington. We have a webpage, www.sandyhookrideonwashington.com. Uh, they can join our rallies. Uh, wave at us as we're riding by. Honk right, there's horn. rallies throughout Connecticut and, and New Jersey and along the way, right? We, we have 10 events planned between tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in Newtown and 1 o'clock when, when we ride at the Capitol. And it's um, one stoplight towns and big cities. Uh, we have a rally tomorrow in Harlem. And uh, in Baltimore on uh, Monday. All right, and then and then uh, Congresswoman Essie will be there to meet you when you arrive. All right, with the senators and a whole big contingent from Connecticut and some of our colleagues from across across America. All right, very good. Thanks to both of you for being Thank here. Thank you, Lori. Thanks, Lori.